It ended all square at the Cuthbury today with uh, Taunton going in, visitors Taunton going into the lead early in the second half through Rodney Marsh, but Wimborne coming back to equalise with a Ryan Wignall header. Manager Steve Cuss went reverted to a 4-4-2 formation with Russell Cook coming back and Tom Hill, the unlucky man, to, to, drop, to, the, to drop to the bench. And apart from the first five minutes of the, of the first half, when Taunton had most of the possession, it was Wimborne who looked a much stronger team. And they really should have gone in at least one or two ahead at the interval. Uh, they were awarded a penalty when Ryan Wignall was, was brought down, but for the third time in a row, Wimborne failed from the spot kick with three different players. Uh, and this time it was Jamie Davidson whose shot was saved low to his left by the Taunton keeper. A good stop, it has to be said. There were other opportunities for Wimborne. Matt Kemble had a goal, a goal ruled out for probably correctly offside, but Wimborne showed enough to suggest that they could win this game in the second half. And for the first ten minutes of the second period, they played some beautiful football and were well on top. Matt Kemble, right from the kick-off almost, hit a shot that went just over the bar, and over the next five minutes, the young striker had a couple of other chances which he hit narrowly wide. But it was the visitors who took the lead when Rodney Marsh scored um, in uh, 54 minutes. Uh, he went through the middle on a breakaway and beat Jason Harville with a good goal to the, a good shot to the keeper's left. Wimborne came back and in five, with, five, with, with another five minutes gone, a good cross from the left was met by Ryan Wignall whose dipping, swerving header just ev evaded the keeper and went in off the far post. The stage was set then for another comeback from Wimborne, just as we did last Saturday against Hungerford, but it wasn't to be. And credit to Taunton Town, who played a lot better in the second half than they had in the first. Manager Steve Cuss will no doubt look back at the chances, particularly the spot kick that we missed in the first half, and think we definitely should have won this game. But as I say, credit to Taunton, who played well in the second half. Star man for me, for, for Wimborne, I think it has to be Matt Kemble, who, who was everywhere, very lively, and with a bit of luck could have had one or two goals. Praise also for Ryan Wignall, who had an excellent game. At the, in midfield, Wimborne weren't quite as strong as we were at Schoeling, but that's perhaps because of the lack of numbers in there, and it's a difficult choice that Steve Cuss has to make. Anyway, an encouraging display for Wimborne. Next up, it's Didcot away on Tuesday, and there's a coach going for any of you supporters. It leaves Cuthbury at 4pm. We we'll hope to see you there. Cheers. And I'm now joined by Magpie's boss, Steve Cuss. Steve, thanks for coming out to see us. I think you'll probably see that as two points dropped today. Yeah, it's funny how it uh, turns around a little bit. I think, um, you know, four or five weeks ago we get a point and everyone's delighted, but, the, you know, the reaction of the players at the final whistle only getting a point was, was a major disappointment. You know, we created enough chances to win this game and probably a couple of others on top as well. But, you know, I've said to them, that's where we've changed. You know, hopefully, you know, we've been working on a lot of things over the last few weeks and um, for them to be disappointed in a draw shows that, we, you know, we're making the right kind of strides in what is a tough yeah. league. And I hesitate to ask this, but who's next up for the spot kicks? <laughs> <laughs> We've had a little bit of a joke in there about it, but it is a serious matter. Obviously, yeah. three penalties in a row, and uh, you know, uh, you know, we need to score from them. They're golden chances. Um, there's a few few lads put their hands up for it, so maybe George Webb, Tom Jeffs yeah. might be next in line. But you know, on a serious matter, if they go in, for us, crucially, we need to score the first goal in a game, and that's yeah. what we've been, you know, sort of like striving for yeah. in the recent weeks to get one nil up in a game. It, it, tight league and tight games is just so important. Yeah. Next up, uh, did cut away on Tuesday, are we all fit and well for that? Yeah, we've got um, everybody fit, um, unfortunately we've got Jason suspended, yeah. um, so Jason Collins comes into the squad and joins Dan Nackerman as the, as the keeper choices, mm -hmm. um, but you know, we know it's a big month for us this month, we're playing some of the teams that are in and around us and um, we've got to pick up points on a regular basis, you know, like we've done against some of the top sides recently. Right. Some good football played today, by the way. I was pleased with it, you know, it, it, we have to play under pressure, we're, we're, we're down the bottom of the league and I asked the boys to pass it and they're brave enough to do that and you know, today was again we passed it and we, we opened the team up and you know, I'm delighted with them apart from not getting the three points that they deserve. Yeah. Thanks for your time Steve. Thank Cheers. you.